In southern Colorado, about a four-hour drive south from Denver, right at the edge of the Rocky Mountains, something appears that makes no sense. A massive desert of sand dunes, in a place that shouldn't have a desert at all. These are the Great Sand Dunes, the tallest dunes in North America. Some rise over 230 meters, roughly 750 feet high, rivaling dunes you'd expect to see in the Sahara Desert, not the foothills of the Rockies. So how did a mini Sahara end up here? Scientists think it started with ancient lake beds that dried up, releasing sand into the valley. Powerful winds swept it across the San Luis Valley and trapped it against the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, forming one of the most unusual landscapes in the United States. But even with that explanation, one mystery remains. The dunes barely move. They're locked in place by shifting winds, steep mountain walls, and the strange airflow patterns of the valley, acting like a natural cage that keeps the sand from escaping. And when the sand slides, the dunes can produce a deep, booming sound, created by millions of grains vibrating together. Scientists call them booming dunes, a rare natural phenomenon where the sand itself makes a low rumble, like a low bass note rising out of the ground. So next time you see these massive dunes, remember, they're not just a random patch of sand. They're a geological phenomenon so rare, it created a Sahara-like landscape pressed against the Rocky Mountains.